Mercedes is pushing the electrification into their fleet. And so for the very first time here at the IAA, we do find plug-in hybrids as compact cars. So you see here the B250e and the A250e for the very first time. The cars, they can drive fully electric, about 70 kilometers. And interestingly, you can uh, charge these cars very quickly. So on a normal wall box, it will only take less than two hours for a charge from 10 to 100%. But these are not boring cars because when you drive them, they accelerate from zero to 100 kilometers per hour in about 6.5 seconds and top speed is 235 kilometers per hour. So I think electric driving could be very, very interesting. Next to me now is Benjamin Kehler. He's head of eDrive at Mercedes-Benz Vans. Benjamin, next to us is the series, the production model of the EQV. Who will buy this car? What is the customer you're looking at? Um, I think we're looking at the same customers that are buying a V-Class, a conventional V-Class today. So it ranges from a family, like I am one for instance, family owner, or um, going all the way to a shuttle service, um, taxis, things like that. When we talk about uh, the car compared to a V-Class, what are the highlights of the car and what makes it different? So of course there are some differences that we really like a lot. So to make it a real EQ, we also changed the design. So we put in extra effort on the exterior, but also the interior and to really give it this EQ look. But we also brought MBUX, hey Mercedes as one example, um, into the vehicle. Um, but my personal highlight is that the interior, the functionality of the vehicle just stays the same as in the V-Class. So you can have six seats, six individual seats, or you can have eight seats, you can have three people sitting next to each other, you can turn the seats. So it offers the great same flexibility like the conventional car. What about the range and what about yeah, charging the car? So um, as a battery car, it comes with 100 kilowatt hours of um, battery energy installed and can drive more than 400 kilometers. And then in combination with fast charging with 110 kilowatts in roughly 45 minutes, you can charge the battery from 10% all the way up to 80%. And then you can go another couple hundred kilometers. Mercedes really wants to change into a company that delivers electrified cars. And so the highlight of the IAA 2019 on the Mercedes booth is for sure the new Vision EQS, so the S-Class under the electric vehicle. And what that car is all about, I talk to Gordon Wagner now. We talk about S-Class and make this working as an electric mobility car. How hard is it to design something like that? Well, I think it's great now as it's the first time we are looking at an all-electric purpose, purpose platform um, with, um, again, a lot of uh, advantage, long wheelbase, uh, a lot of space for your occupants, a very good aerodynamic, um, a super futuristic new appeal. Um, and that way we are creating the first time an ultra-luxurious electric car, true purpose design for the future. Next to me now is Drummond Chikoy from the development department of AMG. Drummond, we're standing in front of the new GLB AMG version. Can you tell me a bit about the car? Well, certainly. Uh, this is a new compact SUV. It's compact from the outside, but on the inside we have up to seven seats, so it's a, a very interesting format for us. Um, specifically the AMG version, it's uh, the performance, the GLB35 in the new uh, compact SUV size. Um, it's basically the powertrain that we've, we already know from the A-Class and the CLA. It's a 306 four-cylinder turbo engine with a fully variable all-wheel drive system. So I just took a seat inside of the second row of the new Mercedes GLB to see how spacious is that car. And I think that's quite okay. One reason for that is the GLB wheelbase is with 2 meters 83, about 10 centimeters longer than the new B-Class. And this is something you can really feel. And important is, as an optional feature, you can have a, a third row with two separate seats. But to be honest, they say this is only for people up to about 1 meter 68, if it should be comfortable. So we've changed places, but same partner. We're in front of the new AMG GLE 53 Coupe. And John, I have a question. The GLE is new as a Coupe. Uh, what have you done as AMG to make it a real AMG? 
Well, as you can see from the outside, it's got its typical AMG DNA. We have our new radiator grille there, the very dominant that you see at the uh, first glance that you're looking at an AMG. Uh, then furthermore, we have our bumpers and our front bumper, rear bumper, the typical AMG styling. And from a technical side of view, we have our six cylinder, three liter turbo engine with an electric compressor in there. Um, and a fully variable all-wheel drive system. And we have our AMG ride control uh, suspension kit on board as well as a special accessory. If you're interested in a new smart, you have to know you can buy that car only as an electric vehicle. And Mercedes is presenting the new smart, so they yeah, makeover of the existing model here at the IAA in Frankfurt. And what has happened to the smart? What is new about it and what it delivers? Let's talk to one of the smart guys now. Yeah, and extremely happy to present the new car's world premiere today. As we can see, immediately completely redesigned front. So the front of the vehicle has changed completely. We have said goodbye to the smart logo and replaced it with the old traditional smart lettering on the hood. That is extremely uh, well perceived by our customers. We see also the color concept. Basically all the vehicles will come tone and tone in the future. And as you can see also immediately the new LED headlamps. That is really one of its kind in that segment. Also in the interior we have changed the center console completely. Much more room to put little things like your cell phone and, and, and other stuff, the water bottle. So we redesigned the whole interior. And last but not least we will introduce a new uh, media system uh, in, in spring which will give us a bigger display and first time for Smart, the ability also to integrate Apple CarPlay. So basically for the customers, you can just take your cell phone into the car. When we talk about the powertrain and the range and charging, has that anything changed there? Is there anything new? No, we have asked our customers and potential customers, and what we see, people basically drive 30 to 40 kilometers a day. That is absolutely sufficient. The car can drive up to 159 kilometers according to NEFT's uh, driving cycle. Uh, very interesting for our customers is the possibility for fast charging. So with 22 kilowatt, you can charge the car in just 40 minutes. That's extremely quick and enough to make multiple rides per day. That's it from the Mercedes booth here at the IAA 2019 in Frankfurt. And I really have to say, it was quite interesting to see how many different premiers they do celebrate this year. I thought my absolute highlight is for sure the new Vision EQS, so the S-Class fully electrified. But to drive something today, I would have to say I really like to test drive the new EQV because I'm a family father. So that really is a practical car. But at the moment, I'm really looking forward to drive the new small plug-in hybrids. And this is the reason why I say bye-bye from Frankfurt.